All right, next up again is Robin Thompson, and I'll see if I can spit out your title. Vice President of University Development and Alumni Relations, right? Yeah, All thank right. you. <laughs> Thanks, Toby. That was a great introduction to OIT. <laughs> um, what I started thinking about was, um, what were the top ten reasons that you may have seen OIT in the news? Well, the first one is our Renewable Energy Engineering Program. We were recognized in the New York Times as being the first renewable energy engineering program in the country, and we've got all but the final approval on a master's program also. Number two reason you might have seen us in the news was uh, in the Seattle Metropolitan Magazine. We were ranked number four for public institutions of higher ed in the Pacific Northwest. And that was in 2008, and the only schools that ranked above us was the University of Oregon, University of Washington, and Western Washington. The number three reason is, in U.S. News & World Report two years in a row in 2007 and 2008, we were one of the top ten colleges to offer bachelor's degrees in the West, as well as, in both categories, the top ten overall in the West. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that in 2010, we will also be recognized. Some of you have also heard about um, our consolidation of our four Portland facilities into one facility in Wilsonville. Um, it's an estimated $30 million project. We just signed the lease to purchase about three weeks ago, and uh, we will start classes in the fall of 2012 and hope to complete the purchase in 2013. Um, we were just listed on the Oregon University System of Funding Priorities. We were listed as number two, only behind something that they have to put on there every year for safety and security. We are looking at no increase in debt service. That is, if we're able to get the funding that we need from the lottery bonds and other bonding. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. We'll have both um, our allied health programs as well as our engineering programs there. Number five reason you may have seen OIT in the news is because of our enrollment. Our fall 2009 enrollment was up almost 11.5%, which was the largest percentage in the Oregon University system. We were up to about 3,900 students last fall. The number six reason is our student success rate. We um, ask our students six months after they graduate how much money they're making, where they're working, and whether they've gone on to graduate school. In 2007, our student success rate was 98%. 2008, it dropped to 95, and we were really concerned about 2009. But in 2009, we were still at 92%. And just to give you an overview of what the national average is, it's 27%. And our starting salary average is $52,000 a year. Number seven reason you may have seen OIT in the news is because of our applied degree programs. When we go out and talk to employers, one of the things they talk to us about is that our graduates leave OIT ready to go to work. Other graduates can take anywhere from six to nine months to get up to speed to where OIT graduates enter the workforce. We just had a group of students come back from Africa, um, civil engineering students. We're helping them get a well project going along with Engineers Without Borders. Right now, we have a group of dental hygiene students in Nicaragua, Nicaragua helping to give people dental care that have never had it. They also do programs like that in the Klamath County community, too. The number eight reason you may have seen us in the news is because of our geothermal, which not as, is not a surprise. We dedicated our new small uh, power plant a few months ago. It is the first geothermal combined heat and power plant in Oregon, and we are the only university in the country to be heated by a geothermal resource. In addition to that, we're looking at a large geothermal combined heat and power plant that should come online about 2012, and it's anticipated that all of our electric power will be supplied by geothermal energy. The number nine reason you may have seen us in the news is because of our sustainable village. That is our new dormitory that um, came online last fall where it's lead silver equivalent where we've used local materials, geothermal heat, and other green technologies. And drum roll please, number 10 is what Toby just mentioned, the Martha Ann Dow Center for Health Professions. It's a $38.5 million building 
that we were able to open last fall so students could begin taking classes there we are down to the final two point eight million dollars and if we raise that by the end of august if we raise one point eight one point eight of the two point eight by the end of august we get a one million dollar challenge grant from kresge so um we're pushing hard to do that so we're really excited about the future of what oit has coming up um keep keep in touch with us watch the news because there's a lot of really exciting things coming up thank you all